All right, this is Firemind, and today we are going to create a double jump. So we have our first person character that can perform a double jump. Now I'm going to create this effect with the first person controller from the standard assets. So you can follow along for free if you want. If you are using a different controller for this, this might be looking different. However, I think the principle might help point you in the right direction if you are stuck on your controller. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so we start off in this very basic scene and I have the first person rigid body player or whatever attached from the standard assets from Unity. So as you can see, I hit the spacebar here like double times and nothing happens. And now I want to add a double jump so that I can actually jump once more once I'm in the air. Um, this is actually pretty easy to achieve. However, this is code only. So for those of you who are scared of code, uh, well, I recommend do not create your own games by yourself because there's going to be this point where it becomes pretty hard if you want to do individual stuff. However, I do have the whole script that you need ready for copy-paste on my website. So pretty much this is just an enhancement of the regular rigid uh, body FPS controller. So you can see here that's the from the standard assets the script that you get. And I am going to modify this. So let's click on edit script here. So if you want, you can go over to my website, which is firemindacademy.net, and you can just copy the whole code from there. And it will work just fine. If that's what you're after, go ahead. Otherwise, let's write that code together. It's really just like three lines, I think. So it shouldn't be too hard, even if you're a beginner. Um, so the controller here might look a little bit different than yours because I added some stuff in other places, but don't worry about that. We're not going to include that or have to include that. So the first, things, first thing we want to do essentially is add a boolean, which um, pretty much says that a double jump is possible. So I just call it double jump possible. You always want to call your variables what by what they are actually... So don't just give this the name of A or B or whatever. Just um, make it the name what, it, what it's actually for. So this is a boolean. And what we basically want to check in the controller here, we can see this is the place where the thing checks. Okay, the user pressed jump. So that's true. So let's give it a jump. However, we only let the user jump if he's grounded. So that means... The only thing we need to do is we need to add a OR in here and say if it's grounded OR double jump is possible, right? And if double jump is possible, uh, he can go add. Now the double jump becomes possible in here. And we're going to do that by signing it the opposite of what it is. So in the beginning it would be false because it's not initialized. And then once I jump the first time, it's going to assign the opposite of what the boolean is, in this case then true. So the double jump is, uh, is double jump possible is true after I jump the first time. And then when we come back in here and the user isn't grounded, but the double jump is possible, then we can jump once more, apply whatever is needed to perform the jump, and then assign a false to the double jump so he can't jump forever you know so what we want to do is as well because we added an or here we want to add a condition that this drag is only applied if we are actually on the ground so this is not very good style because we are basically doing the same thing twice here but for now it's just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, we can see that I am, in fact, able to jump twice. Oop. 
So double jump is working. Um, and yeah, that's it. So very easy, straightforward. And yeah, if you like this tutorial, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos. And also, if you have tutorial requests, can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find the matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic, and description for your request, and simply click on Make Request, and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.